What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And some iPhone 6 users are complaining that their iPhone 6 or 6 Plus are actually stuck in a boot loop. Now according to Business Korea, the problem lies with TLC flash memory inside of the device. So to better understand, there are two different types of memory on iPhones. There's TLC and MLC. So MLC stands for multi-layer cell. It's more expensive flash memory than the TLC. And TLC actually stands for three layer cell. And this is actually less expensive. It has higher storage density, but has slower read and write speeds than MLC. So basically you want MLC flash storage in your device, not TLC. So now that you have a better understanding of that, the funny thing is that Apple only used the TLC memory on some of the devices before switching back to MLC. Now this apparently only affects the 64 gigabyte iPhone 6 as well as the 128 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. So if you have one of those devices, then you're probably gonna to wanna to check what type of memory you have. So for this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to check that exact thing. So we're gonna be checking if you have TLC memory or MLC memory, and you want MLC flash memory. So let's go ahead and go through the steps here. The first thing that you wanna do is go on your device and you wanna download and install two different things in Cydia, the first being Open SSH. So you want to download Open SSH, and then once you've downloaded that and installed it, then what you want to download and install is IO Kit Tool. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in right here, IO Kit, and it should just pop up right here. So you want to go ahead and install that too. So once you install both of those, then it should just take you back to Cydia. You don't have to respring your device or anything like that. And then what we're going to do is SSH in to our iPhone. And there's only one command that you're gonna to have to do for this so it's not extremely technical or anything like that. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this on a Mac, but you can also do this on a Windows computer as well. You'll just need to download an SSH client like Putty. And I'll put a link in the description below for any Windows users down there. But if you're on a Mac, then you can just use the terminal which comes on every single Mac. So we're gonna be using that. So the first thing that you wanna do is just go ahead and open up terminal right here. Now, once you have terminal open, let me go ahead and exit out of this real quick. Then what you wanna do is go into settings and then you wanna tap on Wi-Fi. Once you tap on Wi-Fi, just tap on the I right here and then you wanna remember this IP address or you don't really have to remember it, just know what it is. So now what we're gonna do right here, we're going to SSH in to this device right here. So we're just gonna type in SSH, if I can type, space root at and then that IP address, so 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero four then you're gonna hit enter now you might get a little pop-up it's not a pop-up but it's just text right here basically saying it can't authenticate what you're sshing into so just type in yes and then it's going to ask you for your password so your password should be alpine so a l p i n e once you type in your password then just go ahead and hit enter so now we're inside of my iphone right here so then what you wanna do is type in this command right here. And I'll put it in the description below just so you guys can copy and paste it. But basically this is going to show us the device characteristics and tell us what type of flash memory we have. And of course we're looking for MLC. Now this is the 64 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. So this is not gonna have any issue whatsoever. So we should have MLC right here. So this is what the, you're gonna get once you hit enter with this command. And then what you're gonna be looking for is default bits per cell. And you can see right there that it equals two. That means that this device has MLC memory. So if you have default bits per cell three, then that means you have TLC memory. So that means that your device has the bad memory that could possibly cause a boot loop on your device. So this is definitely something that would be very good to know if you have an iPhone 6 that's a 64 gigabyte version or a 128 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus, just because if you get stuck in a boot loop, then you can bring this to Apple and say, hey, I read about the flash memory issue and I have the TLC or the three layer cell flash memory and it's causing my device to boot loop for absolutely no reason. Now keep in mind that if you are on a jailbroken device, which you have to be jailbroken in order to do this tutorial right here, then that doesn't necessarily mean if you get into a boot loop that it's because of your flash memory. That could definitely be possible due to a jailbreaking issue. But if you see some devices that are doing this while they're not jailbroken, 
then this could definitely be one of the causes. So just a real quick video showing you a tutorial on how to check to see if you have that TLC or the bad memory or MLC, which is the good memory, which is the memory that you want. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.